Okay, this is definitely going to be about a past issue with you and this person where it has caused you heartbreak, but that is because they did not follow through on a course of action that or they chose to take a different direction instead of like wanting to have a relationship with you. And what immediately pissed me off was that now it's like, okay, so they may have taken a course of action in the past and they completely broke your heart. But now it's, I want to have a relationship with you. And you are, hell no. <laughs> no. We are going to talk about some shit here and you're going to have to do some major ass kissing and fixing things like I'm surprised justice is not showing up. But the thing is, is I feel like for Gemini is you want to heal this. You want to heal these issues, right? Like you want there to be healing because I still feel like you still very much want this person. Okay. And that's just me being honest, looking at this, but the five of swords being the overall man, that's shitty as fuck. And I don't like it. I do not like it. I don't feel like, there is another person still involved. I don't think that that's it, but I think that there is going to be some fighting and, and some serious conversations about what this person did in the past or what course of action they chose to take because I'm looking at this in the Six of Cups in the past, in the past coming up. Someone that, you know, should have been like not a part of the relationship with you. I feel like they allowed a past situation to come through here and they need to talk to you about it, but they're not like wanting to give you direct answers. And I also think it's because they don't really know what the fuck they were doing. Like, I don't think that they know how to even explain it to themselves. Like, why did you do this to me? Why did you get involved with this person? Why are you coming back to me? They don't know how to tell you that. They don't know how to give you the right answer because they don't know. Okay. They don't know what the hell they're doing. That's what I feel like looking at this. But they want to have a connection with you. But they have some serious explaining to do. The thing is, is that if we don't get past this, there's not going to be that kind of healing. And, you know, there's not going to be this, like, getting back to a place of what the both of you want. Because I feel like they want you right? They, they very much want to have this connection. They want to have that emotional fulfillment with you with the nine of cups. Yes. But you are like, you're really going to have to do some work to heal some issues here because you really fucking broke my heart. That's what I feel like looking at that, but you still want them. You still want them. And that may be what you are keeping to yourself. But I also think that with the high priestess, you're watching this person because of the Page of Swords and because of a past issue that caused the heartbreak in the first place. But I don't like the Five of Swords because it indicates that the conversation goes in a direction where things are being said that are, are not the truth, you know, like, and then the Eight of Cups, damn. Wow, Gemini, you're not fucking around anymore. Seriously, you may still want them, but you're not foolish enough to continue to invest in something that it, it, you don't think is going to bring you what you want from this person. Wow. So, okay. Again, we're talking about a past issue here that there is going to be, you know, this fighting and disagreement over, right? We, we need to talk about this. But the thing is, is that this person doesn't know how to explain to you why they chose to do what they did that broke your heart in the first place, like I said before, right? But they are definitely, you know, coming to you because this is the connection between the two of you. They're showing, wanting to have that connection, wanting to have that understanding, but you're like, I'm going to kick your ass because of what you did. But you still want them because you want the healing. You want the situation to be healed. But you're watching this person with the high priestess. And I also think that there are some things that you know that this person is not being forthright about, about what they did in the past. The hangman and the nine of swords, I think that what they are showing to you is that, you know, they're, they can't explain to you why they're an idiot and why they chose to do what they did. But I do think that they have a lot of regret over the actions that they've taken. And this has been playing out in their mind. You with the hangman, to be fair, what I feel like is like you're trying to see it from their perspective. But it's difficult because the thing is, is they're not being very direct with you about certain things. 
And that's why you're like, your intuition is kicking in. Like, I know, like, I know that there's something else going on here, but really it's just that they're an idiot. They didn't know what they were doing. Then they start getting defensive with the seven of wands. And for me immediately, I was like, mm, do you really have a right? Do you really think that you have a right to start getting defensive with your communication with Gemini right now? Seriously. You know, if you're wanting them back after what you did, but they are getting defensive with the seven of wands, they are speaking up. But you, though, are watching all of this, and I think that with judgment, this is you kind of looking at everything, everything that happened, and regardless of whether or not you think that there's more going on or not, it's your judgment that you're passing on them, no matter what they say, is, I don't know if I want to do this, because it, with the Eight of Cups, you know that emotionally, if you continue to invest in this, you're not going to get what you need. And I think that that is where you're paying attention to what your intuition is telling you with the high priestess. It, and it's not just observing this person, but thinking about everything that they have done. Okay. So it's like your intuition may be telling you, look, they may regret it and they may be trying to defend their actions and trying to speak up because what they want is to have a connection with you. But what does that mean in the future? Does that mean that they're going to do the same thing again? I don't want to go through that again. And I think that that's what you're going through. And with the Eight of Cups, this is where there's serious consideration about moving on. But with the Nine of Wands on their side, I think that they are like, no, no, they don't want to give up. Like, I feel the persistence here, which is why we're not really looking at an end for you. But I think that at least that there is some serious consideration here. And I do think that some of you will like completely walk away. So when, and I'm looking at unrequited love and I'm looking at all of this and I, I'm thinking about how if you are the one that is emotionally connected to somebody right now and you've been trying to make something happen with them, I think that this is going to be difficult for you that there just isn't. It's almost, it feels like Gemini, seriously, like you're not enough. And I, I hate that feeling. Like you feel like you're not enough for this person. Like you want them to leave a situation, but they're just not. Now we can flip the script on this. Like I always say, and it could be, you know, the other way around the two of cups. This is the relationship. It is the connection, the emotional connection that's there. The magician is about somebody who's wanting to make that happen. Now, like I said, that could be you or the other person, but somebody is wanting to make a connection happen. They feel like they can make this happen with the magician. The Five of Cups, though, is about needing to apologize. Somebody is needing to apologize for their personality because of the Emperor. The Emperor is like somebody who is, you know, very like physical, right? Like very passionate. This is the type of person that just kind of, you know, is, is all about going after, you know, their, their passion. And I don't think it's a control issue. I think it's just because this person is like, they're too free with relationships, period. But I feel like they're trying to apologize to you for that, if that makes sense, right? Like, they don't ever commit, but they're constantly, you know, I'm hooking up with this person, this person, this person, trying this relationship, this relationship, da, da, da. They may be wanting to make a connection happen with you, but it's because of their personality where they're needing to apologize. And with the Eight of Cups, we're talking about, you know, somebody who is, I don't want to say being like super pushy, but like, I want something from you, but someone else is like, I, I don't know that I can give that to you. You know, so what bothers me about this is if this person is apologizing for their personality and, you know, not really putting in the effort that they should have before to make a relationship happen with you, it's like, that's great and all that they apologize, but there's still not enough there for them to want to give you that connection. And with the three of swords, it's, this is going to be the situation that's kind of going on here. The reason why, you know, they can't give you anything is because they're still involved somewhere else. You know, because I always look at this as like, this is a situation that somebody needs to get out of, right? Like it's a bad situation. There's always somebody in the background, like wishing and hoping that the relationship would end. Like, I just want them to break up. 
you know. But, and I don't want to say that that's you, Gemini, but because of all the emotional stuff and because this person is apologizing, but then like backstepping, I feel like, you know, you would easily move into that place. Like, this isn't right. You know, why would you apologize to me for not making this relationship happen and then wanting to have a connection with me? But then when I think that that's what you want, I'm not enough. And then the King of Pentacles. And then I look back at the Emperor and I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be the external person and their personality. Like they don't want to give up on something that they're involved with, but yet they're, they're still being very pushy with you, but in a very different way. I'm not going to give you the emotional support or connection that you want, even though I'm apologizing to you and making it appear that that's what I want, but I still want you. Like, they still want you around even though they don't want to get out of a situation. Now, again, that could be Gemini. But the Six of Pentacles very clearly is about feeling neglected. The feeling like you're not getting what you need. And this person could have made a relationship happen with you. But that's kind of where it was left. Like, they didn't put forth the effort. You know, and, and here you are, like, neglected and rejected. Like, straight up. And here they are apologizing for this and for their personality, but they have no intention of changing their ways. And with the Queen of Wands, you know, and, and I look at that, it, whether you're dealing with male or female, it doesn't matter to me, right? But I, I'm looking at an issue with somebody's personality that they're apologizing for, but I also think that they're not very, like, fully giving of themselves. Like, you know, please forgive me. This is what I want. Like, I need that physical contact with you, but I don't want to give you what you need emotionally to make this go anywhere, which is why we're looking at unrequited love. You know, because the, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's not fully, you know, exposing themselves. That's how I look at that. But that could be you, though, too. Because you know that if you start pushing, this person will completely back off. But I want to yell at you, Gemini, like, why are you doing this? Why? Like, but I get it, though. The heart wants what it wants. I, I always say that. But I'm telling you right now, if this is the other person, they, you know, very much want to have this, like, dominance over you in that they can control you, even though that they're not changing their personality and not leaving a bad situation. You, you know, and I look back at romantic feelings and the way that you're coming out in this, and I think explore it gemini explore these feelings get out of your head okay because somebody is very clearly attached to you okay so you come into this with the nine of cups the nine of cups is going to be about this person makes me really happy and it, it, it is being in love and it's amplified with the queen of cups this is somebody loves you or you love them seriously the Three of Pentacles, though, the thing is, is that even though this person makes you really happy, I think that there is something that may be lacking a little bit. With the Three of Pentacles, we're talking about we need more warmth. We need, we need more love. We need more, you know, understanding. Like, I look at this and think, I need a hug. You know, just, just give me some, like, comfort and some attention, you know. And I feel like it's lacking because of the Four of Pentacles where there's still very much this love, but, you know, it's like they're not trying hard enough is what I feel like. And I think that that's how you're seeing it. But to be fair, you're not really allowing yourself to feel what you feel for this person. Because uh, I look at the Nine of Swords and think that there is a part of you mentally going, I don't know that this is the right thing to do. And it makes me think that this is like, like, in exes seem to be a huge fucking thing that's going on. But the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords have always said with this deck are very specifically about getting back together. The Three of Cups is going to be easier than the Nine of Swords because this is like being wrapped up in the thoughts of, you know, it, it the things that went wrong, should I really be doing this, you know, and with the Nine of Pentacles, we're talking about somebody who is obsessed. They are willing to take whatever they can get from you, but this is very much, we're not calling it a relationship. It's not really a relationship, but somebody is like, that's fine, but I'm going to take what I can get from you because they're obsessed and attached. Now that may be you, 
but there's fear and anxiety with the nine of swords and I don't like it. And there's this questioning of, I don't know. I don't know if I should be doing this. Now, on the other hand, this could be something completely different, completely different where, oh man, somebody, if you are in a relationship right now and somebody is not trying hard enough, you may be giving into a situation that you know you shouldn't be doing but I don't want to call it that. Like I'm hesitating. Like I don't want to say Gemini is cheating on their partner, <laughs> you know, because that's not the case for everybody, obviously. But despite the love, despite the romance, it's not enough with the four of pentacles. Like, okay, bud, you're going to have to try a little bit harder here. So, and like I said, this isn't going to be for all of you, but, but you know how I am. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth here. If you are cheating, Okay, and I'm just going to be straight up honest. If you are cheating, you are not comfortable with it. And I don't think you should be doing it anymore. And you know that. Okay, now that's not going to be for everybody, right? General messages. If you're happy in your relationship, you don't need a message. I feel like I need to go through that with almost every fucking reading this month because things are crazy. Things are crazy. The Ten of Cups. Let's start there. Okay. Like I said, this is somebody who is oblivious to the fact that another person feels like they need more. But I do see an effort being put through with the Four of Pentacles. This is fanning the flames of passion, right? Like trying to get the passion going, but the other person's like, you need to try harder. But there is definitely a want to have a new start here. And the thing is, is that even if they can't, you know, get to this place where we're calling it a relationship with you. They're willing to get whatever they can. They're willing to take whatever they can get. But with the nine of swords, like I said, there's a part of you that isn't like, especially with the eight of swords, you're not comfortable with this. You don't know if this is the right thing to do. Do you want to stay in love with this person? You know, but you're not allowing yourself to feel the feelings though, going back to romantic feelings. Okay, but for those of you who are exploring some feelings that you know you shouldn't be, right, and you're not comfortable, then don't do it. I don't care how obsessed somebody is with you. Or you them, right? We can flip the script on that, like I always say. <laughs> but I just think that it's it's you, you know, for those of you who are looking at a new beginning in your relationship, it's you having, like, doubts and fears, right? Not like a seven of wands type of way. Like, you're, you're still, like involved in this relationship, but you're not giving into the loving feeling. That's what I want to say. 